what's up? Hope you guys are enjoying uh, the jingle bells and that you can hear me. I'm gonna assume, uh, yep, the highs are rolling through in chat. Hey, dab emoji, what's up? Is this Christmas music? Yeah, it is. It's just uh, it's sitting in my stream lo fi playlist. Why 720p? Because uh, I'm playing this on a Mac. But thank you, Native Ninja 3D. Oh, the music is still loud. There we go. We're still going to be rocking out to uh, Jingle Bells. <laughs> How is everyone? I guess there are a lot of you in here, so I can't really ask that. But um, I mean, I hope you're all doing well. I'm doing, I'm doing well. Tyler's foot eight. <laughs> what is on the menu today? Um, we're gonna be building um, this. Oh, the white balance just changed a bunch. I can see. I'm actually gonna switch out of studio mode on OBS. There we go. We're just going to be wiring up these chips. Oh, thank you, uh, Nico1690. Merry Christmas. Uh, yeah, this is the start of the ALU. I don't actually know if I said that anywhere in the stream title. I think the stream title is how not to wire a circuit. But um, yeah, we'll be uh, we'll be wiring these two. These two are registers. Uh, these two are adders. Um, the only thing I have on here right now is this uh, power ground connection. And I'm going to be hooking it up. I'm going to be powering up with this Arduino right now out of convenience. Uh, yep. A hundred rubles. Thank you very much. Thank you, uh, Noopson. Can you give us a compiled version of your Minecraft? Um, I think there might be releases on the GitHub page. Otherwise, uh, otherwise, I guess you can use make and make it yourself, probably. I did, it was, was just something I didn't want to maintain, uh, was having a regular release schedule or something like that. And also distributing binaries for Windows and stuff like that when I don't have a Windows machine. Is it just me or is there an intense delay? Ah. Oh. Oh, there totally is a delay. I think it's because my Mac is indexing my hard disk right now. Uh, let me fix that. <laughs> uh, sorry. Apologies for how, like, live this is. Okay. This might have stopped the delay. Is it better? Okay, good. Uh, okay, I'm getting yeses and noes and worses. Ah, jeez. Okay, wait, let me... Uh, wow, this is just like super live. Logic capture. I think it could also be because I made the camera uh, 1080p in instead of 720. Let's let's nuke it back down to 720. Is this better? I think this is better. I think this is way better, right? Right? I'm pointing to you guys. You guys are here and then you got, yeah, ah, beautiful. So many yeses. Don't even need a pull. Are you using an Arduino? Yeah, I can't go with, oh, I guess it doesn't make sense to have the camera be 1080 when I'm streaming at 720 anyways. Anyway, yeah, I thought I, thought I would, uh, I will be building this today, but I thought I'd also prefix it again with a little bit like of a, uh, Another Q&A, just because they're kind of fun to do. You know, I'm a little less, like, nervous to stream this time, so I'm going to be a little more normal. Uh, you know, I'm a little more used to it now. So. Cool mug? Thanks. I think I got it at, um, Ikea. Ikea. You check out Raylib? Oh, thank you for the euro. 
Rogus. Um, I have checked out Raylib before. Um, I might actually use it the next time I make a game. Um, could be soon. Uh, wait and see on my channel. How often do you go to the gym? Uh, not as much as I would like. What did you go to school for? Uh, computer science. What are you drinking? Uh, this is... Can I tip it enough so you guys can... I'm gonna spill this. Oh, there we go. It's decaf coffee. <laughs> mm, why did the chat pause for me? Oh, no, it didn't. Okay. No one was chatting. Jeez, I was nervous the stream just died. Next time we say add a resistor, add a resistor. No. Mm. Some way to full screen the chat on the side. Oh, yeah, I don't know about that. That's why I have the chat, Ugly Magenta. That's why I have the chat on the stream. Can You guys can see the chat on the stream, right? Oh, it looks kind of garbage, though. Let me fix that. Um... No, that didn't fix it. Uh... That better? Oh, that looks way better. Okay, yeah, there we go. It's just uh, the color keying wasn't, like, perfect. Oh no, now it's not. Now there's a little, uh, little thing behind it. Like a little, um, dude. Okay, maybe I'm gonna boost it like a little bit. There we go. Ah, no, okay. It looks like the option is gray box or illegible chat. That sucks. Uh... There? Mm, I think that's that's readable, right? Is that readable? Low handsome one. Thanks, uh, Guillermo. What about switching to Twitch? Um, I've considered switching to Twitch, but um, I don't really want to have, like, I would like to diversify across multiple platforms, but I don't really want to... I'm not sure if Twitch is the right one to diversify for me. Like, I'd rather make that a measured move, so I kind of need to think about it a little more. Looks like generic white guy. Uh, thanks, Chloe. <laughs> Are you doing YouTube full time? Um, it is my only. It is my only job right now. Uh, it's not like the only thing I'm up to. But can you say no? I won't say uh, those three characters for you, hyena exploits. You're not getting that sound clip. How did you learn to make games in Java? Um, I think I read a lot of stuff on like the, what was it called? Like Java dash gaming forms or something like that. Uh, I, I can't remember what they were. They, they were these forms that were up a lot in like the early 2000s. Everyone talked about using LWJGL and uh, you know, that's what I, oh yeah, I did see that uh, Twitch added the programming and game dev category. That makes me want to, uh, uh, want to go to Twitch a little bit, but I, I don't really want to have to drive like people off of YouTube and over to Twitch, if that makes sense. But we'll see. I was considering putting up a poll on my like community tab. You know, I was considering doing a lot of different things. And then I was just like, you know, should I announce the stream? Should I not? And I just ended up having it be another random stream. So how did you learn? Please don't uh, spam. Yo. Don't spam. Uh, or I won't answer your question either. What are your Vim settings? Uh, you can find uh, you can find my VimRC. I think if you look at the gists on my GitHub page or in most of my video descriptions, I have my uh, VimRC. Why are you named JDH? It's, uh, it's just what I chose. How's your indie game going? Oh, that web game? That web game is like dead dead in the water. <laughs> I just got really tired of working on a TypeScript. Um, but I think the, you know, the next time I make a game, it'll be, uh, you know, maybe once I'm done with this, uh, this computer building uh, project or something like that. Um, but it'll be, it definitely won't be in TypeScript again. What does JDH mean? It's just my... Can you please turn around your chair two times? Uh, I guess because you gave me the money, I'll do it. You know, I mean, I actually don't know how much money that is, so I may just be like really cheap for doing this, but I will indeed turn my chair around twice. There you go. Thank you, uh, ZXZXZ space ZXX. 
Actual sellout. Yeah, you can buy me. <laughs> yeah, I'm apparently very cheap. I have no clue how, how much money that was. So. Thick gaming chair. Oh, yeah, this thing is great for my back. Um, 659 USD. Okay, that's worth a couple chair turns. Damn. <laughs> Turn around on my chair? Well, I think it was ambiguous, actually. Oh, it said on my chair. Okay, well, I actually can't do that, so that's the best you're gonna get. <laughs> mm. Oh, sorry, I can't, I literally can't. I mean, you saw my chair. It's got like a, like a back, like this is the best I can do. And you can get like the back of the neck view. How long have you been a YouTuber for? Uh, since I posted that, uh, that Minecraft video. Chair spin. <laughs> yeah, sorry, ZX, ZX, Z space, ZXX. You know, I can't, uh, you know, at some point I'll get an epic uh, gamer chair and then I'll, you know, do some loops for you or something. How did you go from making Minecraft to making your own computer? Um, you know, it's just what I, oh, thank you for the local conversion uh, on the on the money. Um, I mean, I, I, I knew how to do like this sort of like, Stuff, like wiring integrated circuits and stuff when I did that Minecraft clone. It's mostly just like what I've chosen to make uh, make on my channel. What time is it there? It is uh, It is almost 9 p.m. here. 100k. Oh, yeah, that I'm going to have to do a 100k uh, special at some point. Say the most Danish thing you can, please. Uh, okay, Danes, don't flame me in the chat if my pronunciation is bad, but uh, that's... Uh, it's like a red red porridge. The flu is like with uh, with cream. Are there any Danes in the chat? You know, uh, don't tell me how bad my pronunciation was. Yo, uh, Master Game Game, don't uh, don't spam. Do not not spam. Uh, why C instead of C plus plus? Did it leave me go tuck? Hey, we got the cold cold flu. Yeah. Uh, why C instead of C++? Just because I feel like C++ has like... Uh, yeah, I accept your apology, Master Game Game. Um, just because I feel like C++ has like an unneeded complexity um, that I just... You know, it isn't worth it to, to introduce the extra complexity for the... I don't think it's worth the trade-off, basically. What college you went to? Ah, uh, you gave me two bucks, Fleshy Bomb, but I'm not going to dox myself. I'll, I went to U college in the US. Uh, okay, Fredman, uh, don't spam. I'm just gonna hide you from the chat. But I did go to school for computer science. Um, that's that's what my uh, my degree was in. You need some mods? I have some mods now. You do a face reveal at 800 subs. Oh, thank you, Blue Three. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll do another, uh, I'll do another. Well, this is my second face reveal. I'll keep doing them probably. How much can you lift? Uh, eh, not, not as much as before this summer. I've took a, I took a long time off of lifting, unfortunately. So I'm a little weaker now, but. Why did you move to Denmark? Uh, that's also I'm not gonna dox myself, but. <laughs> you know, it's a nice country. That's what that's what I'll say. C plus plus isn't C on steroids? No, it's not. Fix chat offset. Oh yeah, I should. Sorry about that. There we go. And then let me. There. Is that better? There you go. See, I do have mods in chat. They're active. So, uh, so behave yourselves. VimRC reveal win. It's already on my GitHub. What's your day-to-day -day job? It's, uh, it's YouTube. Ubuntu or Debian? I'm gonna assume you mean uh, Ubuntu or Ubuntu. I don't know, actually know how to say it. I think the last time I used Linux, I actually had an Arch machine. How's the Batman movie coming along? Uh, you know, me and Chris Nolan, you know, we get along just fine. So it's, uh, it's gonna be out 2024. Why did Tetris OS get copyright striked? Oh yeah, I guess I haven't really talked about that much, but I think it was the Tetris company um, that did it basically. 
Uh, it kind of sucked. I considered releasing a video about it, uh, kind of like flaming them. I considered releasing a video about how copyright law is bad. I considered, you know, doing a lot of things. But in the end, I was just like, it's just not worth my time. It kind of sucks. Um, you know, it would definitely be bad if you went and uh, got the source code off of the web archive. It's definitely not available there. Um, that would be copyright infringement. So don't do it. Uh, just in case you were looking for the code, you're not gonna be able to get it unless you look there, which would be bad. So don't do it. This is, uh, I'm a paid Tetris company shill now. What products do you use in your hair? Uh, I use uh, argan oil and then sometimes sea salt spray and then this like a, like American fruit fiber. <laughs> Say something in Spanish, uh, hola. Uh, hola, senor. Love from Pakistan, thank you. Is something in Icelandic? I can say absolutely nothing in Icelandic. It's uh, too too Nordic for me. Danish is as uh, as far as I'll get. <laughs> this isn't a Chinese basement, Noobsome, but thanks for checking with me. <laughs> say something in Swedish. Uh, I can't make like the hu noise, but I can say like. Is, is that good, Swedes? Am I offending you with my terrible R roll? Got finished? No, no. <laughs> I think any Swedes that were here just left. <laughs> Close enough. Oh, you're definitely a Swede with that name, Kevin. <laughs> okay, maybe I do have a few Swedes. Okay, no, I'm not. I'm not gonna go through the whole like saying a bunch of stuff in a, diff a bunch of different languages stuff. <laughs> I can't do what MacBook do you use? One that's uh, too old uh, to actually stream off of. Apparently, can you start working on the circuit? Yes, I'm gonna start working on the circuit. So, thank you for the uh, dono, Steve Potoski. Um, I will actually try and get a Ray Casper running on this thing when it's done. I just haven't like. I want to wait until the architecture is like really finalized before I start writing a bunch of software on it. Why did you move to Denmark when you could have moved to Sweden? Why do you live in Sweden when you could be living in Denmark? I think that's a better question. All right. All right. Okay. I'm going to switch over to... Um, okay. I'm going to pull up Logisim here. Well, also, sorry to like the 10 of you who have, uh, if you've gone on the GitHub repo and you've tried to open up this, uh, circuit, uh, it won't work because your Logisim evolution doesn't have, uh, all of these extra chips in it. Cause I've added in a bunch of extra ones. Um, but I'll be releasing, I don't know. I tried to PR them into Logisim evolution, but it didn't. I don't know, the guy The guy who's maintaining the project asked me to do a bunch of things and then I thought, ah, okay, I'll just do it once I've added all the chips. So anyway, for the few of you who wanted to open this up. What are you doing to the circuit today? Um, I'm gonna be building the first part of the arithmetic logic unit or ALU. I found the MRC. Live in Norway? I don't know, I mean, Norway does seem kind of nice. Um, I'll show you guys the circuit in a second. Let me just export the image here. All right, this is happening really live. I'm like way less prepared for this than I was uh, planning on being. Um, are you making a CPU now? Uh, Yes, I'm making part of, or I'm like starting the CPU. I actually haven't started wiring a single part of it yet. So this is a, uh, you guys are seeing it live. It will be the first, uh, first little bit of this build. People are adding me. Sorry, I'm not reading the chat. I'm not that, uh, not that good. What's my IQ? Uh, IQ is a bad measure of intelligence. It only measures how good you are at taking IQ tests. So that's to say, I don't know. And also you shouldn't uh, put any, uh, 
how do you say that in English? Put any price on it? You shouldn't value it highly. That makes sense. How to be good like you, more practices, 12 hour grind. Thank you, thank you for the uh, for the donation. Um, just spend time on it, I guess. That's my uh, that's my best answer. Maybe not 12 hour grind. Make sure it's like healthy what you're what you're doing, but uh All right. Did your CPU handle USB input? God no. <laughs> it's not going to be that uh, that complicated or good. All right, I really hope there isn't uh, too much lag on the stream right now. I haven't even checked how many people are. Ooh, we have a yeah reasonable amount of current viewers. High like 400 people. Basic electronic project idea. This is this is the first electronics project I've ever done. So I don't think it's basic, but it's definitely doable if you're not capable of uh, doing anything else. No. Oh. An Ethernet support? Uh, also, probably not. How are you going to get input to your computer? Oh yeah, so I have um, I have this box of like uh, circuits and stuff, um, and in there, sorry if that was really loud on the mic. In there, I have this uh, PS2 controller that I cut into. Uh, I did this when I was like 10, you know, the last time I did any electronic stuff. I never really got it working, but I might stick these in the breadboard. Um, see if I can connect this up as an input device. Uh, I, I don't really know how that's going to work. I have no clue about the protocol for this thing. Um, but, but aside from that, I'm going to buy like a PS2 keyboard, like, like one of those serial keyboards and then, uh, have it go across like two serial registers that will be mapped to two of the different uh, uh, input uh, ports for the machine. What OS is your computer gonna run? Just a completely custom one. I mean, do you have an oscilloscope? No. My, uh, my workbench is woefully unequipped. I don't even have a... What's it called? The thing that measures volts? I don't have one of those. I... I <laughs> I, I wrote something that can measure it on an Arduino up to some, like in between zero and five volts, but that's a, a multimeter. Yeah, yeah. I don't have one of those uh, and I'm too cheap to buy one. <laughs> so I, I'm just, you know, hoping that I never really have to use any voltages out of, uh, you know, zero and five, you know, oh, are they like 15 bucks? Homebrew voltmeter. <laughs> yeah, that's that's a, a good way to like electrocute myself. Oh, maybe I should. uh. Hey, get out of here, Magic Deli, my one moderator. <laughs> um, yeah, okay, maybe I'll go get a multimeter then at some point. They're really affordable. You literally spent hundreds on ICs. I don't want to hear it, Tyler. Oh, thank you, Anton, for the donation. I don't, I don't know what currency that is. Uh, I've, I've never seen a ZAR, but thank you very much. Can I become moderator? Uh, I'm not taking applications for mods right now. When are you going to finish your JS game? Maybe at some point. Okay. Okay. What education did you get? Uh, computer science. Uh, bachelor's. Have you watched the passion log? Yes. Okay. 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 It's circuit time. Uh, boys, girls, and NBs. Um, we're going to, we're going to build this. So I'm going to take the camera and I'm going to move it. You guys might see. Okay, there's nothing, <laughs> there's nothing around here. I'm just doing a really quick double check that I probably should have done before the stream. I'm moving you guys and get a good view of the, the setup. Sorry, I'm doing this so uh, live. Uh, can I even bend the camera down this far? There we go. that work that's a that's a pretty that's pretty decently lit as well over there let me just adjust the uh focus
Oh, that was the wrong direction. I don't have it on autofocus anymore. Okay, that'll work. Because last time the autofocus just really messed stuff up. Can you see my hand? There we go. This looks way better than uh, than it did the last time. The breadboard is out of focus. I, you should be able to, yeah, you should be able to see it just fine now. Maybe I'll move you guys to be even a little more like directly over it. Uh, there, there we go. And don't mind uh, how I keep my integrated circuits electrical engineers. I know that I'm giving them all a ton of electrostatic discharge right now. But I don't care. I'm a, I'm a bad boy. Oh, I didn't even show you guys what we're going to build. Um, let me do that. <laughs> okay. Let's do uh, this. There we go. Now you guys can see what we're going to build. Oh, uh, no, you can't. It's not quite right. Uh, no, that's not quite. Why is it doing this? Okay, this is a little messed. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, this is going to be slightly zoomed in, but, um, and let me drag my chat down. You guys are getting a, a look at the, uh, the inside of the stream right now. Yeah, so I can still, uh, Wire. Yes, dark mode. This this actually isn't dark mode. This isn't even Logisim. I just had it export an image and then I inverted the image in GIMP. Uh, <laughs> so, but you know, it works right now for dark mode. It's it's way better. Professional streamer. That's me. This is technically my job. Firefox based. Um, I actually don't use. But I, I'm I'm gonna be honest. I use Safari. Uh, Firefox is my uh, stream browser. <laughs> but uh you know don't hate me because i use safari yes i know i know i use safari be, be angry at me okay anyway so this this is what the whole circuit looks like so it spans uh these four breadboards here um but we're only wiring up these four chips today. So you can see the basics of it are kind of, well, it's actually quite hard to see, but if I uh, if I pull it up in Logisim here, you can see I have the 74 series version of the circuit, but then over here, the circuit is, uh, the circuit is actually much easier to understand. Have you heard about Apple deprecating OpenGL? Yeah, they did that like years ago, I think. Um, yeah, so this is the circuit. We'll, we'll be building a part of this circuit, but basically it's the arithmetic logic unit, so or the ALU. So what it does is it has these two registers called uh, called X and Y, and then it does some operation to them determined by the current opcode. So that could be um, addition or addition with carry, and this one will be an AND in, uh, in this one, or NOR uh, comparison and then subtraction. Or there's also just like a pass-through function on the ALU that's used for some other, uh, I think the move word instruction uses it. It does math basically. Yeah, that is uh, that is correct. It basically uh, does math. X and Y, or is there an accumulator too? No, so these are internal registers. The, these are not actually, um, these are not the X and Y. I don't know if the machine has X and Y. No, the machine doesn't have X and Y registers. These get loaded directly off of the data bus, basically. Um, oh, <laughs> sorry about that. These get loaded directly off of the data bus. Um, and and because, uh, you know, to do one operation in the ALU takes multiple cycles, like the first cycle, you load this X register. Second cycle, you load the Y register. Third cycle, you read the result out into another register, right? It could actually probably be condensed down into like a two cycle operation, but I thought it would just be simpler to have it loaded separately into X and Y registers. Can you build your JDH8 emulator for Windows? I don't know. I don't I don't have Windows. Mr. JDH, please mention the dab emojis, followed by five angry faces. Yeah, I mean, I appreciate the dab emojis. 
Uh, thank you all for sending them. <laughs> I guess it's just you, King Undead, but still, <laughs> thank you. Not gonna lie, working with Logisim is kind of a pain. Oh, yeah, it is. Uh, you know, but it's my pain. And it's nice because it's a... It's open source enough that I can modify it if I want to. So that's been quite convenient. Like, um, there are a few of these circuits, actually. Uh, all of these I have uh, I have added myself, I think. Um, I've, I've added like s seven or eight circuits. Uh, just programmed them in, basically. Oh, wow, that's a lot of dab emojis. Uh, it is not an elbow cough. I refuse to believe that, even if the... The name of the emoji is elbow cough. Uh, that's incorrect. Anyway, though, this is the this is the integrated circuit representation of uh, this. It looks a lot more complicated, but you know, it's 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 all less complicated than the video card that I built, so it'll be uh, it'll be easier. Oh, there are a lot of cute like uh, emoji. Can it run Crisis? I swear to God, if, if one person, uh, one more person comments uh, on my YouTube channel about if it can run Crisis or Doom or something, I'm deleting my channel. That's going to be game over for JDH. Anyway, these are the four we're wiring today. So it's basically just going to be, uh, this is the X register up here. Uh, this is the Y register, this other 74374. Uh, then this is then these two are adders uh, up here. We might also hook up the subtractor uh, or the subtractor, the subtraction thing, because those that's also done through addition. But uh, it really depends on how much time we have. And in mind, Bitcoin, um, I might actually try and get it to like compute some hashes or something, and I would just take years and years. <laughs> but, um, I don't think it'll be able to, there's no way it'll be able to hook up to any sort of like network and actually mine anything. So anyway, that's what we're, uh, that's what we're up to today. I'm going to do that. I'm going to answer some questions. Um, we're going to transition back over here. Have you thought about adding memberships? Oh, thank you for the donation. I have, um, I've kind of my deal to myself has kind of been that at a hundred a hundred thousand subscribers i'm gonna start considering um thank you alex uh cop uh, not elbow cop emoji sorry that was a uh i misspoke a uh, dab emoji um basically at 100k i'm kind of gonna kind of decide what i want to do in terms of like can it run on a <laughs> um i'm gonna kind of decide what i want to do in terms of like adding memberships to my channel, or even if that's something I really want to do. Um, I'm, I'm seriously not sure yet uh, if I would want to add memberships or do Patreon or do like Twitch subscriptions or do something completely independent, or if anyone would even support me, or if it's like, you know, you got to think about a lot of different stuff. Like also if the content I make is even worth paying money for, like that's also debatable, so. You know, right now, I got that sweet, sweet YouTube ad money, and I'm doing just fine. Anyway, so the first thing we're going to do here, I wish I could, like, can you guys see this clearly enough? Like, a little bit what I'm doing? What college? I'm not going to, I'm not going to tell you guys uh, my college. Uh, that would, like, dox me, so I'm not going to do that. Okay, that's good if you guys can see it. Uh, is there a specific reason you chose a 74374 or 74574? Is the 574, that's like a... I have one of those, but I don't actually know what it does. Tri-state octal D-type flip-flop, positive edge trigger. I mean, what's the functional difference between the 374 and the 574? Isn't it actually... I'm pretty sure they're literally the same. Or they might they might not be, but anyway. Oh, thank you. Uh, Andre Hava. Hello. But it all... Oh, wait, really? That's the difference between the 574 and 374? That would be so convenient. Damn it, why do I have so many 374s? <laughs> so I guess the difference is, you can see on the, on the circuit diagram, um, if we go back to that... 
if you look at these like the it goes x it's basically like uh output input input output output input input output like you can see the x's are the are the outputs the d's are the inputs and that's a major pain because uh you know it's not just all on one side so that just kind of sucks but you know i guess i'll have to live with it these are the chips that i bought i'm not going to go buy more anyway uh first thing i got to do here i got to wire up power and ground for all of these chips. Oh, and I'm gonna pull my chat back up so I can continue talking with these guys. These guys, you guys, you uh, individuals out in my chat. What mics you use? I have a uh, Rode uh, Procaster. The mic that I got. I went big. It was go big or go home, and I went big on the mic. And uh, it sounds actually a little garbage because of the OBS uh, noise suppression. Uh, but, you know, I cut this wire too short. It's a little distracting trying to talk to you guys. Yeah, True Dane using a, using a hole. What's next for the JDH8? Um, it's got to be built <laughs> first. Um, then after that, I'm just going to get it to run a bunch of software. I really want to get it to, uh, uh, run basic actually. Um, or like, not like a specific basic, but, um, just like some built in version of something that looks like basic or like a different kind of text-based programming language, I think would be super cool. Um, I also want it to be able to not self-host its own these are both too short oh my god you guys have witnessed me cut a bunch of wires and none of them are the correct length i'm just going to repurpose these to connect the power and ground of uh <laughs> of these chips i'm sorry you guys have to see this have you found any fast eproms um so the issue with the eprom a lot of people uh, a lot of smart individuals pointed out in my comments, of course, that the issue with the EEPROM speed that uh, happened with my graphics card could be solved by uh, latching the the outputs, basically. And then, you know, if I have the data offset by one byte in RAM, um, and then I latch the output, basically, my problem is solved. Um, which I will, I would consider doing if that thing was going to stay to hook, stay hooked up to the uh, EEPROM, but it won't. It's going to be hooked up to some uh, SRAM, uh, which is much faster. It's 55 nanosecond access speed as opposed to the uh, the 150 nanoseconds of the other EEPROM. So it's just not worth it, or of the EEPROM. So it's not worth it to build this whole latching system when I might not even need it, right? Will there be a GitHub repo for this project? This uh, this stuff is already up on GitHub. It's at uh, JDHA. I think it's linked in both descriptions of my last videos. You need resistors for those LEDs. James, you know, I'm going to let it slide. You can say that once. Uh, but if you tell me, um, I'm, still get, I'm still getting comments, a bunch of comments about... Uh, the resistors on the LEDs. I understand it's not great. I'm gonna keep doing it. For a multimeter. Oh, thank you very much, Roland, for the contributing to the multimeter fund. I appreciate it a lot. Okay. Where is my where is my mod team at? Jeez. You know, I really don't want to have to turn on slow chat or anything, but I really hope that I don't get like too many spammers or anything like that. Yeah, are we getting raided? I feel like we could be. Well, we're probably not getting raided raided, but. You can do an improvised multimeter with the Arduino. Yeah, I did. Uh, I used one of those on my last uh, when I was building the GPU. Don't spam. Yeah, we're just going to use like a, a good citizen policy. Just like ask, asking kindly not to spam and uh, hope that works. Yeah, so, okay, yeah. So when you spam like that, 
That's that's how you get uh, that's how you get banned off the channel. Please don't do that. Yes, yes, the ban hammer falls. I'm uh, I'm ruthless when it comes to spammers. Does it support ray tracing? I think technically it could. You know, it could trace some rays. I'm going to get this to run some ray tracing. I don't think it'll look anything. It won't be anything impressive. Um, but it'll definitely be able to run something that maybe looks like a little, like, Wolfenstein-like. So, so like, one level sort of, uh, sort of deal. It supports ray tracing, just not very well. I don't know. It might be able to run at, like, a couple frames per second. Uh, it definitely won't have the space to double buffer or anything like that. Uh, okay, that one's cut way too short. I need a longer power wire for this. Spam equals ban. True. That's the, the fastest way to get the ban hammer to fall on you. Even a smart fridge uh, <laughs> can run Doom. Yeah, but those smart fridges have like literal, like full on, like, you know, computers in them that are faster than like, faster than the computers that Doom was originally uh, written to run on, you know? I'm not trying to compete with smart fridges here. I'm trying to compete with like a PDP-8 or something. <laughs> what clock speed are you running at? Um, so everything will be uh, clocked off of the GPU clock. So I my plan is to have it run at four megahertz. If that is too slow or uh, too fast, then because you know, breadboards and high clock speeds don't really mix well. Um, if four megahertz is too fast, then I will, uh, uh, use the clock divider and clock the CPU at two megahertz or one megahertz, um, and then just like, you know, keep the GPU clocked at four megahertz. Yeah. Hashtag parasitic capacitance. Exactly. What instruction set is used on those chips? Um, I mean, these are just chips, but the instruction set, you can go look at the GitHub repo, it's completely custom. Um, let me pull up my actual schematic here. Four megahertz should be fine. Yeah, I think four megahertz will actually make this thing decently fast. The emulator, I think, maxes out at around one megahertz on my machine, so. And that's probably just because it's poorly written or I haven't really tried hard enough, but you know. I think it should be able to do some like reasonably impressive stuff. I am going to, uh... but what was the instruction set written in? It's written in like a text document. There's no like, <laughs> it's just a, it's just a, like an, uh, an abstract description of the machine. How much RAM will this boy have? Um, this will have, I think it's gonna be 16 kilobytes of ROM, followed by 16 kilobytes of banked memory, followed by 32 kilobytes of general purpose memory. But total, uh, in total, it'll have 64K. Um, and then obviously through like memory banks, you can access, uh, you can access a little bit more RAM, right? Um, or technically, uh, you know, it'll be able to access, I think up to a megabyte or something with memory banks, but obviously I'll never be hooking up that many memory banks. Oh, thank you very much. Uh, I can't read your name, I'm sorry, but thank you for the dono. Uh, how did you get into programming? What language did you start with? Um, I got into programming when I was like 11. I wanted to make Minecraft mods, and so I started with Java. I never ended up making any Minecraft mods, uh, but, that was my uh, that was my first introduction to to the world of like programming and code and stuff like that. Uh, okay, I don't think this is long enough. No, we're gonna deal with the uh, we're gonna deal with that. Favorite set of pliers? Uh, I don't like these ones actually, because you see how like, all right, so see how they do this? Like I go this way and they close. I really want like inverted ones, but I don't know what they're called where like you press on them and they open and then you release them and they close. Those would be so much nicer. But like these, these are the ones that I have to deal with. So I hold them like this, almost like a, 
almost like chopsticks or something. But anyway. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna grab some dip switches from over here. I hope you guys can hear. Actually, I don't know where my switches are. You guys can see into the uh, magical box of uh, wires and things. This is what I'm looking for stuff in. <laughs> ah, here we go. That's what we're looking for. Some switches to hook up to this thing. We have a button that we can use as a clock. A different kind of switch that I don't know if we'll, uh, we'll put in this board. Towards multimeter, thank you, James, uh, for contributing to the multimeter fund. Yet another kind of uh, switch. <laughs> Bow opening pliers. Okay, you need resistors for those switches. I actually do, um, but I am just gonna hook them up directly to ground. Uh, also towards multimeter. Thank you again for the donut. Much appreciated. I might actually be able to buy, I mean, I could afford a multimeter, but you know, the the useful info you guys have given me are more so than I didn't know that they were so cheap. I just assumed they were expensive. Here we go. Oh, this dip switch is broken. You guys can kind of see that. See that? Uh, it's out of focus, but there. You can see one of the legs is broken, unfortunately. You need to add a capacitor to the button so it doesn't click multiple times. Yeah, yeah, I know something, something debouncing. Um, I I still actually, I looked at a bunch of debouncing circuits uh, and I still don't know how they work. So I'm just not gonna do that again. <laughs> uh, also, this is uh, another thing that I have. This is what I'll be hooking up the keyboard to eventually. Thank you, uh, Tetraxile for the multimeter fund for contributing. You can like, you'll be able to plug a keyboard into this too. It'll be pretty nice. Anyway, that's for uh, that's for a little later down the line. I don't know what this LED is, but I'm gonna figure out what color it is and probably burn it out. Okay, I think that's enough switches though. Yeah, a PS2 port. Yeah, I know, isn't it, isn't it cool? Okay, um, I'm gonna hook these up on a different board because I'm eventually gonna disconnect this other board. If this will actually go on to here. You shouldn't do this. <laughs> don't don't hit your uh don't hit your circuits, but oh yeah, you can see they're all different breadboards. I'm actually gonna grab one that's actually gonna connect to this. Oh damn, it's pretty stuck. Uh maybe I have more. Will this one fit? Or is this the same kind? Okay. You can see I'm a little disorganized here. Here we go. How many breadboards you bought? Um, quite a few. <laughs> yes, there are mods in the chat. Watch out. Yeah, okay. So these switches I think will, uh, work in the board quite nicely. We'll be able to poke them with uh, with this, switch them on and off. So these these will be what I'll be using for, this one will emulate like the data bus basically. And then this one I think will emulate, uh, maybe I'll use this one to emulate like the rest of the control lines. This one kind of sucks to use. Oh no, actually, oh, it also has a, does it, is it also floating or something? Okay, wait, let me see if I can use this switch. I like this one a little. Okay, here we go. So this one will be for the control lines. Will be powerful enough to run Tetris OS. I will also get a version of, um, well, uh, thank you to the, uh, the legal team at the Tetris company, I will be getting it to run a version of unnamed uh, falling block game, uh, which I can't speak of. Otherwise, they might like DMCA this video or something too, and that would be uh, 
be kind of bad. If you're a lawyer from the Tetris company and you're in your chat and you're in my chat right now, I don't like you. Um, if you reveal yourself to the mod team, you will be banned for uh, copyright trolling. Falling block OS, yes. <laughs> All right, let's, uh, sorry, I'm just digging out. You can see I have a, I'm slightly more organized. I got, let me, I'm gonna show you guys. I'm gonna move the camera. Oh, I have, you guys get a rare view of the desk. I have uh, this thing that I got from Ikea to organize all of my stuff. So now I have like resistors in here. I have um, a couple Raspberry Pis in here. Some more LEDs and stuff. Uh, a lot nicer than just having it spread out on my desk all the time. Okay. Oh, that's the wrong angle. What's up, though? Let me set you guys back up down here. Let's get this man a quality micro micrometer or a multimeter. Thank you very much. Oh yeah, yeah, we're back, we're back. Thank you very much for the donation, Troy Nelson. I'm just gonna use this, these ones to hook up uh, our and ground for this board because it's temporary. But I do really need more of these like nice uh, jumper wires. Say woo yeah if you hate some breadboard capacitance. I do hate breadboard capacitance. Um, I want more of these jumper wires because they're quite useful for prototyping. But I only have a few, I think, from this initial, like, Arduino kit that I got when I was, like, 10. And then I haven't gotten more since. But. Okay. Um. I'm just going to check that everything is uh, wired up correctly. So. I am. You guys will be really excited. I'm going to put a resistor on this LED. I don't know if 1K is enough. I might burn it out, but we're going to find out. Um, cause I know this, this resistor or this LED, uh, will blow at five volts. So, um, but I'm just going to check out that the boards, that the board is like wired, uh, correctly when I throw some power on it. Um, this, okay. So I have my Arduino here and I'll be throwing in this, uh, twisted red and black wire for power and ground on it. 220 should be enough, 1K is plenty. Okay, perfect, perfect. I think this is 1K. I actually can't read resistors, uh, so I always need to look it up, but you know, we're just gonna hope that, uh, hope for the best, for the best. Oh, it's green. I, that that looks a little less than less, it looks more white on the, uh, on the, on the stream, I think, but it's green. That's kind of cool. And it's not getting hot or anything. But I think I wired this up correctly, which is nice. I have wa successfully wired in power and ground. Are you Danish? Uh, yes. Cheers from Sweden. Tuck. Uh, but let's just... I'm going to do the, the poor man's uh, multimeter. Uh, Stick an LED and all of these power and ground rails to make sure that it's going. Oh, this one isn't even wired up. See, it's good that I did that or else I wouldn't have known that I'm dumb. And didn't uh, wire up power and ground across this breadboard. Let's do uh, there and then where's my red wire? There it is. Have you seen Ben Eater's com computers? Yes, I'm jealous of his wiring, but my excuse is that my uh, my computer is uh, significantly more complex than the one that he's built. Uh, could my wiring be as nice as his? Uh, yes. Is it something I aspire to? Yes. Swedish gang. Swedish bros. Yeah, what's up, Sweden? Also, what's up, Denmark, to all my Danish fans, home country? What are those blue things? What blue things? Oh, these, these are, you can barely see it. These are capacitors. They're a hundred nanofarads or microfarads or something like that. Uh, 
So they're basically just, uh, they're decoupling capacitors uh, hooked up. So you can see I have one uh, right before the power is hooked up on every single chip. Um, it's just to make sure that if one chip starts suddenly using a lot of power, that it doesn't create a power drop across the entire board. And then like, you know, have like data loss and RAM or some, or like registers or something like that, right? Basically just insulates the chips from changes in uh, like that. Like when I jiggle the board in this LED, you know, it's color changes a bit. That's not good. Right. Like if I put a capacitor, oh, well, okay. They're also, ugh, they're a little finicky, these little things. <laughs> That's because of faulty connections. Um, yeah, I mean, that's also good because this isn't exactly the most strongly wired thing, but you know, whatever. Have you tried out FPGAs? Um, I was actually looking at getting an FPGA, but they're expensive. Like, like they're not like multimeter price. They're like, uh, you know, like way more expensive. Well, I actually really shouldn't have wired that up while the circuit was still on. That was, that was really dumb. <laughs> um, but you know, hopefully these adders aren't busted. They probably aren't. Anyway. Um, I'm going to disconnect power and ground, and then we're going to wire up uh, these two chips together, all of the data inputs, and then uh, we're, I'm going to try and do some like, yeah, someone mentioned uh, I would cut your, yeah, undefined says I would cut your wire shorter so that they stay flat on the breadboard. I would do that, but I can't like, you know, imagine I have to connect four wires on each side of one of these plus one for the data bus. There isn't space to do that if they're... Uh, if I'm trying to keep them flat, unfortunately. So they have to be, you know, a little shorter, but I'm gonna try and have, um, you know, fewer of the way just cross board wires because those are just bad. You should really make a power switch. Yeah, I'll do that at some point when I have, um, when I'm wiring multiple boards together. Those D flip flops don't have a write enable. Yeah, I'm aware. So what you do, what you do to give a write enable onto these 374 chips is you and the um, the clock signal or like an inverted clock signal with the uh, uh, the write enable for the chips, and then that's effectively a write enable. Ruski gang, thank you for the dono. Uh, no target uh, one three three seven or no target leet. Much appreciated. Anyway. Let's wire these two together. Um, I'm gonna have chat vote on what color I should wire things. Let me, let me grab all my wire colors. I don't have any of the fun ones anymore, unfortunately, but multiplex the D and Q line. What? Uh, make it rainbow. Yeah, I wish you guys could, sorry, you guys get to pick from the bad colors. <laughs> For the boring ones, we have white, gray, purple, and brown. <laughs> so I guess it's up to you guys what you want to pick. Orange, I don't have any of the fun ones. Uh, no, wait, ooh, I'm gonna create a poll. I'm gonna create a poll. Okay, everyone hold your... Uh... Okay, okay. Let me just go over here. Ask a question. What color? Oh, my seat, my computer is like dying. What color? Uh, purple. Oh, thank you. Uh, Devin does maths. I'm gonna miss your question. I'm wearing a moon risk, uh, my CPU and Verilog. I want to add a G you should add a, G a GPU to it, Devin. Thank you very much for the donation. Okay, purple, brown, white, Q equals latch output, D equals latch input. Uh, yeah, I mean, they, they are already latched. I don't know what you mean by multiplexer, but, uh, or I mean, I know what a multiplexer is, but I don't know what you mean, like what the purpose of that would be necessarily. Okay, what, what other colors do I have? Brown, white, gray, purple. Brown, purple, white, gray. Ask your community. Here we go. There's a poll up. Can you guys see the poll? Oh, that totally worked. Okay, I'm going to let it run for like a minute.
Don't vote in chat. Vote on the uh, vote on the poll. Pur oh, purple is winning by a landslide. I don't understand why so many of you guys want brown. I like really don't want to wire this in brown. <laughs> I just feel like, you know, it's just not gonna look that nice. I, I I would my vote's a little bit like for white, but I think purple will be nice. I don't have a ton of it, but. Actually, I'm colorblind enough to not even be able to tell you if this is purple. Um, it could also be blue. I'm really not sure, but you know, this color. That when you vote for purple, you're voting for this wire. <laughs> oh, multiplexer for the right enable. Um, I mean that is. Uh, I have a D multiplexer running the right enable for the, or like a selector running the right enables for the various operations, and then. These right enables are going to be hooked up directly to an and of the uh, right enable uh, and the uh, uh, the inverse of the clock signal. So it latches the data on the uh, falling edge rather than the rising edge. Okay, okay. Pull is ending. We are wiring it purple. Thank you for everyone who, uh, who uh, contributed. To the poll who voted in our uh democracy <laughs> 370 votes that's a whole 387 viewers and 370 votes that's like way higher participation than like even like good democracies can claim we're a very healthy healthy functioning you know little micro state in here anyway it's gonna be purple wire um so i'm gonna wire up all of the oh i think the music stopped i'm gonna Get it going again. There we go. More like, damn, you should start a country? Yeah, it should. I mean, I think I, I would probably be arrested if I like declared independence in Denmark, but so I won't do that. But uh, I would be very happy to start like a Kalmar reunion with like Sweden, Norway. You know, that could be something that we could do. Okay. So the first thing I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna show you guys this again. Uh, the, there. So these D inputs are off of the data bus. Oh wait, let me scoot it over so you guys can see. These D inputs are coming in off of the data bus, like the universal bus for the uh, for the computer, or the thing that everything uses. So I'm gonna wire these together between these two chips, uh, the X and Y registers. Uh, yeah, wire them together and then wire them uh, over to this dip switch that will be emulating our uh, data bus, basically. And then back to the regular cam. And then back to back to reading chat for me. Watching from South Africa. Wow, okay. What's up, South Africa? 7434, yeah, D-type flip-flops. Okay, let's do some wiring. So... The way I measure this is kind of just like laying it down on the board and then seeing kind of how much I would need. Like, I think this will be good enough to span like one chip length, basically, because, you know, I'm wiring up the exact same pins on each chip. What software was that? That was the image preview software on Mac. <laughs> But, but the circuit was built in Logisim. Then I had it export an image. Um, and that is what uh, you guys were just looking at and what, I'm, what I currently have up on my monitor. <laughs> okay, so let's see. We need to wire up. So this is X0, this is D0. Then it gets wired into... I, and I just need to check the length of this wire, that it's all good. I feel kind of bad that you guys can't like see this better. I can always, uh, let me do this. You just make it bigger. There we go. Now you guys can definitely see that better. Yeah, okay, so I'm gonna cut eight of these length of wires now. I've decided that they're good, um, and we need to connect all eight uh, inputs together. Three, four, let's see, 
five, six, oh, drop one, seven, eight. Perfect. And now I'm gonna strip them. Well, please don't demonetize me for saying I'm stripping wires, uh, YouTube. I'm taking off the coating. And I'll read chat in the, in the meantime while I'm doing this and try not to like strip any skin off of my fingers or anything. You plan to put your computer into a case? Um, I would consider transferring it onto PCBs at some point. Uh, but maybe not, honestly. I'm probably, because like, I'm quite proud of the breadboard mess, even though it is a mess. Um, so I'm, what I'm probably gonna do is, uh, once all the breadboards are done, I'm gonna kind of just throw them, put them all together and then have a have a case kind of, a, maybe like a nice like glass case or something around them. Yes, it is a wonderful mess. I'm sorry. Thank you, uh, Ariel. <laughs> it is indeed, uh, it is quite wonderful. It's quite fun to look at. How much did everything cost? Um, I don't know in totals actually. And a lot of the stuff I kind of already had from many years ago. Um, but it's not cheap. Uh, it's not super expensive either or anything, but. Okay, now time to wire these. So that is the zeroth bit. Nope, nope, oh, I, I wired it up to the wrong one. Already messing this up. Okay. That is the zeroth bit. There is the first bit, and then we skip two because those are outputs. So skip two pins, and then we have the second bit. Or should I say, should I start with zero indexing on these? Because it makes, it's kind of confusing if I say it's the second bit, but it's actually bit number three, but it's actually bit number zero. I don't know. I'm gonna go with bit three. I'm gonna go zero, one, two, three. Or no, that will make this bit two. See, it's already confusing. Oh, thank you for the, put it in a clear epoxy block. <laughs> Might do it. Thank you very much for the donation. This computer will be so ecological and repairable. It will. This, this computer will have no issues with like right to repair or something like that, you know? Hell, it's not even copyrighted. It's literally open source. So uh, this is kind of the solution to climate change I'm building. Not not to toot my own horn or anything too much. Okay, uh, I wired this wrong. How did I wire this wrong? There shouldn't be. Oh no, never mind. This is wired right. I thought uh, I didn't see that the ground pin was there. <laughs> okay, that's good. That's good. That's good. False alarm. This is wired correctly. Okay. Uh, then let's hook up the fourth bit. So this pin here is this bottom pin is the uh, uh, the clock or like clock combined with write enable will be what it'll be. Then we have the fourth bit output. Then we have the fourth bit input on that pin right there. Then we have, oh, did I cut? No, I cut the right number of wires. Then we have the fifth bit or bit five, these wires aren't like holding up to me, pushing them into the breadboard. There we go. Make your next project pipeline with CPU. Uh, you know, there could actually be a lot done in terms of like, uh, if I, if I wasn't implementing this on breadboards, it'd be really trivial to build some uh, instruction pipelining or at least like paralleli parallelizing um, the loading of instructions. But uh, because I'm building this on breadboards, I just kind of wanted to save on cost um, and space and time. Uh, so it like, you know, you load instruction, execute instruction, load instruction, execute instruction, right? you would in a, in a typical 
uh, like like old style uh, CPU. Will your CPU be compatible with the GPU? Yeah, that's the whole point. Um, that that GPU is going to be like what this th how this thing outputs a video. Well, not how this board outputs video. This board will be doing all the math, but <laughs> and and, uh, and bitwise operations and everything, of course. Anything remotely math adjacent. Is Fire is not behaving. Okay, there we go. Now it's in there. Okay, so these two registers are wired together now, which is which is good. So now we can hook them up to this uh, dip switch. So what we need to do first, though, is let me grab these out of here, and we need to hook up the hook up everything to ground dip switch. Using these like any uh, pre cut wire. I hope you bought the better breadboards. Um, I think these breadboards are quite decent. I've been looking, I need to order quite a few more actually. Um, and I've been looking around at how to get them, but they're just expensive. And I don't really want to get, you know, poorly made ones. So I'm really not sure what the plan is there. But I mean, I'm sure I'll find what some of these, some of these multimeter funds can be redirected into uh, breadboard purchasing funds. If you were to sell this, how would you advertise it? Uh, I wouldn't sell this. <laughs> you, uh, I don't really think there's any advertising in the world that could get a uh, consumers to buy something with the processing power of a PDP-8, especially for the cost. I mean, the cost to manufacture, if you think about it, with what my time is worth, combined with like, you know, all the component costs, it would be a little kind of astronomical. Not really worth it. Thank you, uh, Anthony Lipke or Lipka, uh, for the donation. Much appreciated. I would buy it if I had the money. Yeah, I don't know. I could see myself. No, actually, you know, Ben Eater has those really cool like build a build a CPU kits where where he includes all the pieces. I'm just gonna release the chip list somewhere. You know, you can build it and doom yourself to uh, hundreds of hours of breadboard work if you really want. That's a uh, you die by your own hand there. You know, I'm also not confident enough in like the, the quality of the architecture. Uh, like the architecture does have some pretty weird aspects to it. So, you know, I don't, I'm really not gonna try and market this thing. Where do you get the music track? Uh, this is all off of uh, Epidemic Sound. It's the, uh, the place that I use for all my music. So I don't get a copyright strike. Copyright struck, I guess. Yeah, you'd say that. When do we get JDHOS? Uh, soon. It'll be what's going to be running on this. And it's probably just going to be like a basic. Ooh, that'd be kind of cool to have it boot up into like a basic shell. Oh, if I could get a shell scripting language running on this. Not like Bash or anything fancy like that, but, you know, that could be nice. Shaky hands. Yeah, I mean, I didn't really eat enough before I started streaming, so... <laughs> You should run Linux on it. This thing can run Linux, but if you guys do want to see a homebrew CPU that can run Linux, or uh, it actually runs Minix, you guys should look up the Magic One. It's uh, actually one of the things that originally, oh, I wired this up really stupidly. I have to take all of these out now. There's no space left over for me to, oh my God, okay. Well, you guys, I'll explain the, my idiocy to you. You see that? How I just uh, put all those wires in there? Uh, there's no space for me to uh, to carry the data over to here on the breadboard. Clearly, uh, clearly wiring things up with uh, 
you know, live with chatters watching isn't uh, isn't exactly the best for you know the quality of the wiring that I'm doing. Yeah, this is a bit more than uh, 14 nanometers, Jack. to do it like this just because what I really need is for all of these to just be hooked up to ground in some way. Mm -hmm. And this is giving me a lot of trouble. What are those resistors? There are no resistors on this board. This, uh, this will work a little better. Okay, and then I think all of those are actually connected. So that one's connected, that one's connected, uh, that one's connected, that, uh, okay. This, this wiring just got a lot worse. No, we'll have to uh, deal. Mm. Are those capacitors? There are capacitors on this board. The, the little blue things, these things. Those are capacitors. Oh, did someone donate and I missed it? Oh, I'm sorry. Thanks for the content for better pliers. Thank you. Uh, I don't think I can pronounce your name, but I'm going to assume it's uh, some version of Thomas uh, Sevolain. Thank you very much for the donation. I'm sorry. I, I almost missed it. I'm clearly uh, very deeply focused on what's going on here. Can it run Temple OS? This thing will not be able to run Temple OS. But it is a little bit, you know, getting it to run will be a little bit of a religious experience in and of itself. Hey, Bruno, what's up? There we go. Oh, I'm really destroying these like pre-cut wires. Okay. There we go. That looks that looks way worse. <laughs> this isn't Ben Eater quality, but uh, it's 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 temporary, so we don't we don't care here. I'm I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Ben. Okay, but every everything is everything is wired up here now. Yeah, it is temporary. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No one worry about it. Like that's that's also why I'm using like these wires. It's because this is this is temp. No, no, it is temporary for for a fair ride. Uh, this is just to emulate the data bus for right now. But I'll probably use this board a lot when I need to like because each of the individual uh, circuits, you know, like has different control lines that need to go to it and so i need a board kind of where i can emulate those control lines and see how this make sure the circuit uh you know behaves correctly right um anyway i'm gonna let's take this orange wire actually that i this is the orange wire is my like temporary wire Chat smells BS. Yeah, I know, I know. It's very temporary. I assure you I won't keep this. Are the boards glued together? No, they're hooked up through like uh, these. You can see on the side here, they kind of go into each other, right? They're, they're prototyping boards. You're, de you're definitely not supposed to build anything permanent on them like I'm doing, but you know. Okay. That's a decent line. There's nothing more permanent than temporary. I know. You guys are really just bullying me in chat today for, uh, <clears throat> for claiming that all this stuff is temporary. 
Uh, which, where's the purple wire I was using? There it is. Oh, okay, that wasn't supposed to happen. <laughs> Alright. Oh no, this isn't the, is this the purple wire? Here we go. What else are we supposed to do? Encourage me? I mean, yeah, that'd be... I mean, you know, I get enough encouragement. Maybe it's, uh, you know, you guys can try negging me. You know, that could be kind of fun. Okay. Let me... But I don't know. It might get a little depressing if my entire chat was just in here telling me, like, how bad I am. But I already got some negging the last time I streamed when everyone was, like, screaming at me about the resistors. Then I ended up never connecting them, and my LEDs still work. How much addressing space will it have? Uh, yeah, the guy with the name that I think is written in Greek that I absolutely cannot pronounce is correct. It will have a 16-bit uh, address bus. So I'm also going to hook up the, uh, the output enables uh, here. They both need to be tied low, and those are the first pin on each. Uh, is colorblindness... Uh... Also temporary, no. Colorblindness, in my case, uh, that is forever. That's okay. Since I can't see it, can you tell me if it has onboard graphics? I mean, everything is on board uh, with, this, uh, with this CPU. Or with this computer. Quite literally on board. I remain unconvinced that this wire is... Uh, Oh, wait, do I have multiple colors in wire? What am I doing? Are you guys like sure this wire is uh is purple? I'm pretty sure it's blue. I'm like 90% sure that it's blue. I'm saying it's blue. Watch out, we saw your face. The whole the whole part of this this VOD is a uh, yeah, I know. So here's the thing, too. Colorblindness skews male in the population, right? And my audience, well, I'm the only one who's seen my statistics, but uh, as you guys might be able to guess, it is predominantly male. So you guys are also not trustworthy, just like me. If you guys say it's blue, you're also probably colorblind, so. And it's more statistically likely that you are, uh, you know, colorblind. Assuming that, that this stream, I mean, I haven't looked for this stream, but I'm going to assume that my... Uh, you know, it hasn't changed much. The, uh, the makeup of my audience. Indigo? Oh, it could be indigo. I don't really know what color indigo is, but I guess this, this might be indigo. Oh, we're back to the Christmas music. <laughs> Hope you guys are enjoying uh, Christmas in September. Okay, I'm gonna cut four of these. Temporary wires, temporary wires. Keep that in mind, guys. These wires are temporary with a capital T. Mean it. Here we go. What arch slash ISA are you using? This is, uh, uh, I mean, this is custom. All custom. There's seven dislikes. I haven't looked at the dislike numbers. Damn, why are there seven people disliking my stream? <laughs> okay. Okay, so now I'm wiring up this dip switch that's, uh, that's going to be emulating our data bus. So th this is this is how we get data into these registers. Grinches, yeah, ah, yeah, that could be it, Jesse. It could be for the Christmas music. That is true. Could be the people who are like. I mean, I'm gonna be honest, Christmas is not starting in September, but it's just kind of a good vibe, Christmas music, you know? People are disliking? Okay. Whatever, you know, 
Do it if you want. It won't make me happy. But you're anonymous. You know, you can be mean. Just know that uh, you're making me sad. Just like this video. AVX instructions? No AVX. No, no SIMD, no nothing. <laughs> Are you gonna do a custom power supply? Um, I need something of a power supply for this. I really can't just keep uh, running it off of an Arduino. <laughs> like that's that's not that's gonna stop working at some point. Um, but I have like this power supply that I had hooked up to the GPU, but it wasn't um, for some reason. Even though it was hooked up to the wall and everything, it couldn't supply enough power to actually uh, run the GPU, um, which was a little weird. So I have to look into that. Chill out, dude. You're doing a good stream. Thank you. Are you going to make your own RAM? Uh, God, no. I'm using uh, pre-built chips. I'm not crazy. Can you just cut open an old phone charger cable? Uh, yeah, that might be what I end up doing. Uh, I, I just need to make sure that it's providing enough power, right? It doesn't really matter through what. Uh, and I'm pretty sure those uh, old phone chargers, or a lot of them, are even just 5 volts. So I'd be able to plug those bad boys probably directly in, maybe would uh, slap a couple capacitors or like large capacitors down here. Call that a power supply. Switch trick, breadboard power supply. I will look into that. Thank you very much, uh, first air right. That'd be nice. Cause I also, um, I need something that can also output 12 volts uh, at the same time because uh, the EEPROM uh, erase uh, input is 12 volts. And it's getting quite warm in here. I'm gonna check, okay. I'm gonna open a window and the chat in front of itself if they get here. I'm gonna open two windows there. Okay, chat. Let me let me know if uh, let me know if there's too much noise in the background. But I think it should be fine. What happened to the game dev series you were doing? Um, I got tired of TypeScript. I will absolutely return to uh, to game dev though. I, I think kind of once the CPU project is done, my channel will uh, you know, go back to its roots, go back to some game dev stuff. Um, this was poorly planned. Uh, these wires are all too short. Damn, okay, okay, I need to cut four, four new ones. SOC is nothing to this guy? True. Who needs SOCs when you have, uh, spreadboards? What do you think of game jams? I've never done one before, but I, I think that would actually be really fun to do. Would to be would uh, I'd love to participate in a game jam. I'm just kind of concerned that, you know, I just wouldn't end up making anything uh, good. I dare you to make your own C compiler for this. Uh, yeah, CPU jams. That's more where it's at. <laughs> First one to breadboard an entire CPU uh, and get it to compute something wins. Or whoever can build the most powerful CPU in, you know, 12 months. Okay, these wires are definitely... System on breadboard, exactly. Who needs SOC when you have SOB? Oh, this is already getting messy. I'm sorry, Ben. Uh, you know, apologizing to Ben Eater. <laughs> if you ever come across this VOD, I'm deeply sorry about uh, what I'm doing here. It's uh, it's frankly disrespectful. Ben Eater is behind me? Oh, shit. 
He's in the room with me. He's actually just here peering over my shoulder, uh, scolding me relentlessly. You guys can't just, you just can't hear him uh, because of the, uh, the noise suppression. Yeah, forgive me, Ben, for what I'm doing. <laughs> Please, uh, what's the word? I repent for my sins. Please forgive me. How can we summon Ben to bully me? Uh, I actually can't, I can't imagine he'd be bullies. You know, he doesn't really... I mean, I guess I've only watched some of his YouTube videos. Doesn't really seem like the kind of guy. He'd be more, like, disappointed, I'm sure. Okay, we have uh, we have one register hooked up, uh, and then we have the right enable. So I'm gonna get our clock button. You can see it here, uh, over here. Put that on the board, um, and then I'm also gonna figure out. Let me think. Uh. I'm gonna figure out how this clock is like connected or how this button is connected. I don't know if it goes across or like through these. Uh, so we're kind of just gonna figure out how this button connects um, on the fly. You think Vulcan is better than OpenGL? I haven't really taken a look at Vulcan to be honest. Um, I just considered doing some projects in it, saw that it looks quite complicated and then uh, didn't do my projects in it. Oh. But in the, in the future, I imagine if I try and build like a game engine for longer term use, I would probably build it with a Vulcan backend. Or or actually more likely, I would use something like, you know, Raylib or some some platform agnostic sort of deal. Okay, I'm gonna hook this up again and then see. Okay, nope, never mind, it's back. I'm shorting my. <laughs> okay, I guess that's what happens when you short. Um, why is this being shorted? Oh, that's why. <laughs> okay, yeah, I was just shorting all of my USB devices. Sorry about that. <laughs> Oh no! Yeah, do not try this at home. <laughs> Jeez, that was that was really dumb. Uh, okay, <laughs> let's not uh, short things. I really hope these chips aren't like broken. <laughs> okay. There we go, look at it. Now, uh, no one needs to show Ben the clip of me uh, shorting my camera while I'm streaming. There we go, this is gonna be our clock. Or th this will be like the button that emulates our clock. Right. Oh, I just disconnected it. Okay. Uh, why is it not working now? Okay, faulty connections. I'm bad at wiring things. Is the button debounced? Christian, I recognize you. I recognize your profile picture uh, from the last stream. I am not debouncing de this button. I've, re I've refused to do it. It will not be happening. There will be no button debouncing happening during this stream. If you want your uh, if you want your button to be debounced, you're gonna have to go somewhere else. I'm sorry. Uh, let's get the right enables hooked up on this chip. So I'm going to actually right now. You know what I'm gonna do is. I'm gonna do another, I'm gonna do more temporary wiring. I'm gonna hook up the clock directly as the right input. 
for this register. If it will go into this part of the breadboard, which it doesn't want to. Yeah, everything is temporary, I know. Debounce it, please, it only takes a capacitor. Listen, I'm not gonna look up debouncing circuits live on stream. I still don't know how to do it, and I refuse to learn. Actually, okay, maybe I will. Maybe with my like extended uh, knowledge now. I cannot plug into this uh, part of the, oh, there we go. Finally got into that part of the fretboard. Just hook up a capacitor after the button, like in series? Uh, button debounce. Uh, how do you do debouncing? Oh, do you just hook it up in between the button output and ground? Maybe I lied about no debouncing. So, okay, so just between button output and ground, that's quite easy then. Wait, so do I just add in like, wait, this is already connected. So let me, let me think. So this is, but should it be off of button input and ground? Because I'm using it, it's a high, output so like right what if what if i connect it so like this is this is high right here positive that capacitor ground it needs to be on the output okay but the output will this not okay maybe this won't short it i don't know let's find out Worst case, I guess the camera turns off or something. It doesn't really need, honestly, in this circuit though, it doesn't need to be debounced. Like, you know what? We're gonna debounce it anyway. Does it need to go through a resistor to ground? Uh. Or should, can I just hook it up, hook the capacitor up directly to ground? No? Okay. Thank you, wow. A lot more electrical engineers in the chat than I thought. Um, or people who just like know a little bit more than me. I mean, I'm really not an electrical engineer. Okay. Oh, again, I'm doing this live with the uh, circuit live. So this, I really shouldn't do that, but whatever. So now it's not, not going. See? Now it is a uh, now it is non-functional. Then if I take out that cap, it still doesn't work. Okay, something's deeply wrong here. Um. Oh, okay. It was just my faulty wiring. Okay, it works now. <laughs> oh man. It's a good thing I have that LED hooked up to this so that I know the things are still working. Yikes. No, you guys would know if I shorted it, Bobby, because then the stream, uh, the camera would turn off. Anyway, so we now have that hooked up to the, um, the right enable input on this. So I think this register could actually work now. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna snag an LED. LEDs are like print statements. True, that is a... Keen observation, and that's exactly how I use them. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna hook this up to um wait, did I hook this up wrong? Uh I totally oh I'm so dumb. Okay, I hooked up all of these wires wrong. Just give me a second. I hooked them up to the outputs instead of the inputs. I should not be doing this while the circuit is live. Yikes. Get that out of there. Okay.
Come on, get out of there. You guys can really see now. So imagine all of this and like all the trouble I'm having. And now imagine me building that GPU circuit. It was a little tough. Uh, oh geez. Oh, I really just pulling things out of, oh yikes. Okay. This is, this is, <laughs> this is not going well. Um, Okay, this needs to be wired to that. This one. Uh, needs to go there. Oh, I keep on disconnecting them. Okay. Then that goes there. And this goes here. Perfect. Perfect. There we go. I'm sorry if you said anything, uh, anything meaningful in the chat in the last little bit. I, uh, I was paying more attention to the, uh, the buttons. Or what I was wiring up. Okay. So now it should be hooked up. Now it should be hooked up. So now if I throw this LED on the output of the fourth bit. Oh, not through power, through ground. This is why we don't wire our circuits live. That would be uh, irresponsible. And that's how you short up short your camera when you're streaming. Uh, man, this breadboard is just a pain to stick things in. Okay. I'm not putting a resistor on this. I don't want to hear it. Okay, so it starts high. Once I have it hooked up. Okay. Man, my... This is not great with use resistor or we riot. Yeah, I don't care. Revolt. Go watch someone else building their own uh, 8-bit data with 16-bit address bus breadboard CPU on YouTube. Go find them. Good luck with that. No, no resistor. Sorry, I just connected these power and ground wires. <laughs> uh. Okay, okay. <laughs> All good. All good. No, the short had nothing to do with resistors. It had nothing to do with resistors. It had to do with the fact that I took a power and ground wire and went like this with them. Okay. So. Check it out. It's uh, it's connected now. And this is this should be connected to yeah. So that board has power. So right now it's off. And now if we do one, two, three, four. If we set bit five high. Oh, I need to wire up the rest of it. Okay, this is. Damn it, these dip switches are such a pain. Actually, let's just do this. Let's do bit. One, two, three, four, five. Let's just wire bit five high. And now we clock it in. Uh, nothing changed. And that's bad. Um, so I don't know why that happened. Uh... Yeah, I don't know. Uh, that shouldn't have happened. That should have that that definitely should have changed. Well, that's kind of bad. Like this should definitely be uh, be high right now. But that's not working. 
Uh, time to find out why. One bit address space. Yeah, exactly. So there is power and ground on this part of the board. You know, it could be busted just because I don't have the other outputs. No, actually, that shouldn't create a problem for this type of chip. Um, let's see, which one are you? You are one, two, three, four, five. Uh, like, <laughs> I don't know if you guys heard that, but like, I just heard like a, like, like, like it like squeal. Oh shit. Oh God. I'm so bad at this. It's because uh, I just shorted it again. <laughs> okay. It's because these, these actually need resistors. Oh God. I'm so bad. Okay. <laughs> Um, okay, okay, okay. Forgive me, Ben, for what I have done. Oh no. Listen, I, like I'm, I hope you guys know how, like how much of an amateur at this sort of stuff I am. You know, it sounded like an LED dying, but it's it was like coming from the Arduino, which is actually quite concerning. <laughs> like it sounded like it was coming from the AT Mega chip on here. So I'm just gonna kind of hope that uh, everything's still fine. Man, it's way more fun to short things when uh you know when they also just kill the kill the stream for a second. Okay. Get in there. Come on. Okay. 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 I will be hooking this up. I will be uh, resisting this. Oh, thank you for the donation. You're having fun shorting things? I am having fun shorting things. Thank you for asking. Yes, I, gra I grabbed a resistor out of the resistor box. Yes, yes. I am, uh, I am dumb. This circuit needed a resistor here. I was trying to take a shortcut and not use one. Silly. And I apologize. Each and every one of you. Okay. Now it should be fine. Oh, look at that. We just clocked it in. Check it out. It works now. And now, 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 now. I believe the outputs are latched. So if we set it low, it shouldn't change. And now if we clock this zero in, oh, it works. It works. From shorting to working in like two minutes. Check it out. Check it out. And this is happening with all of the, or it would be happening with all of the bits if I had them all hooked up to the, to the data bus. Look at that. Bam. We can store a bit. Well, actually it's storing eight bits, but the other bits are zeros. Nice. I'm also really surprised that like the shorting uh, didn't, didn't bust the chip at all. Sweet. Resistor Pog. Yeah, exactly. From shorting to working. <laughs> exactly. So these, these are actually, these are D-type flip-flops in here. They're not RS nor latches, but his computer works a lot better than mine. Yeah, I'm really glad that my Mac has like some uh, short protection on the USB circuit. There we go. All right, um, so, oh, we can also, so now check this out. Um, we should also be able to clock things into 
I'm just, I'm going to do this live. I'm not going to short anything, I promise. Uh, we should also be able to clock stuff into the Y register as well, assuming that it's ready, it's uh, wired correctly. Yeah, famous last words, at least the stream won't die. Okay, so now, right? Yep, check it out. Also works with the Y register. It is also getting stuff clocked into it. Uh, except not now. Uh, what just happened? Excuse me? Mr. Y register, you were just working. Okay, now it's not working anymore. Uh, burned? No, I don't think they're burned. They're still working, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. LED isn't burned. This has nothing to do with resistors. Uh... So I don't know why that's not a wrong switch. Oh, it is the wrong switch. Wow. Thanks for spotting that. Okay, 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 okay. Everything is a false alarm. Everything still works. Thank you for whoever said uh, Chris Z S T N X zero. How are you destroying your camera with your CPU? I think what happens is so the this Arduino right here is hooked up via USB. So when it shorts, uh, it shorts the like uh the usb bus on my mac uh that i think shorts the camera but but i think it's only the usb a so i have my camera also hooked up via usb a but the mic is usb c and it doesn't seem like that dropped out and my monitor is also through usb c and if that didn't drop out which is quite nice so anyway is the addition of a sound card an option in the future of this computer yeah i actually have um let me see if i can find it in here Uh, where did I put it? Here it is. I have a I have a speaker from a motherboard uh, that can act that can be used as a buzzer. Actually, actually, I bet I can get this thing to make noise right now. What's the what's the pinout for a motherboard speaker? Motherboard speaker pin out. Data, no connect, no connect, five volts. Is that what it is? Thank you for the dono, Bronson. Much appreciated. You need an oscillator. I could get it to play a... Uh a four megahertz tone, but that would be the best I'd be able to do. Okay, maybe I'll do this at some other point. I'll hook it up to the Arduino and get it to play music. But uh, anyway, yeah, I just I just had this somewhere. And so, uh, you know, we can maybe use that. Anyway, so th this will, it will be capable of playing music. I mean, it can hook up to arbitrary devices, right? Four megahertz will be unhearable. Yeah, maybe. Uh, you know, but my hearing's pretty good. I don't know. <laughs> All right. Um, so now that we can clock things into the registers, uh, let's hook them up to these uh, addition chips. Right? That's kind of all we need. Uh... Let me actually grab, what are the AND chips? What what number are the, uh, the ANDs? They are 7408s. So let me find a 7408 here, my pile of chips. Uh, here's a 7408. Perfect. I'm going to disconnect power from this because I want to end the enables with the clock signals. Um, 
I also need a 7404, which will be an inverter. But I don't think any of these are inverters, unfortunately. That's another 08. That's a 257. That's a 257. That's an 08. Okay. I need a 7404. I'm gonna go over here and look for a second. I need a hex inverter. A lot of sand chips. I don't know if you guys can still hear me. I'll like shower a little bit. I don't have the audio. Where did it go? Uh, anyone have like a 7404 hex inverter that they can like pull to me very quickly? I really need one for this. Uh, 7 sign bits discrete transistors uh, absolutely check it out that is a 7404 which I believe is a hex inverter I really hope it is in any case will you build your own monitor uh, no <laughs> I will not be building my own okay 7404 hex and it's it's hex because it's six you're not inverting hex oh camera gone oh sorry 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 that was me just uh messing around and moving things in obs accidentally <laughs> yes it does it does invert it just takes the opposite of each value that's it that is exactly right we're gonna hook up these dips well actually i'm gonna Buy this out of here because I just hooked it up a little wrong. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna hook up this. Why would that be useful to invert things? Uh, you know, you need to invert a lot of different signals in this. A lot of signals, a lot of enable signals and stuff on these 74 series chips are active low, uh, meaning that you know. When they go low, they do the, like the output enable on these registers is active low. So meaning they only output things when the signal is low. So, I mean, there are quite a few different things that you would need to invert. Are you using a microcontroller? Uh, just the Arduino. Okay, will this connect now? Yeah, I think that'll be fine. Okay, I'm really gonna quickly going to wire this up to power ground there's my red wire there it is are you building the cpu ben eater made no mine is a uh, very different and uh a lot more powerful a lot more powerful <laughs> and not just because of the clock speed uh i mean it, it's just got a much more capable instruction set address width um, so it'll be, I mean, you know, not that what Ben Eater built isn't a general purpose computer. It definitely is, but like mine will be more equivalent to like, a, um, I think like I mentioned in the video for it, like a bit more like PDP eight ish, like it'll, it'll be able to do far more, uh, calculation or, uh, you know, just, just run more like, uh, 
you know, user facing programs and stuff. Like it'll be able to drive a GPU, read from a keyboard, you know, all that sort of stuff. Okay. I'm gonna take the clock signal here. And uh plug it. Man, I wish I didn't build on the spreadboard. It is terrible to plug things into. Please. Okay, clock signal here, and it with, uh, where are my resistors? They're not here. Are these 1K? Yep, they are. Perfect, perfect. Should have started out soldering. Uh, no, my landlord might have evicted me if he found a soldering iron in my, uh, in my room. I don't think that's uh, okay in my contract. I am putting a resistor this time. Did you guys notice the resistor? Please be proud of me. Someone recognize my, uh, that I've just put a resistor up here. Okay. So what we're, what we're hooking up right now is uh, this dip switch because I want to be able to use it to do the enable uh the enable the the right enable for the uh those power and ground wires are so close to touching if the if the camera goes black it's because i bumped them um the, these these should be doing the enable for the uh for the chips to clock things into them so that we can clock things in separately to the x and y register right so we can uh we can add them so we have that hooked up now. Then I grab one of these wires I already have cut. We can hook that up to here. So we're throwing this uh, this enable onto the AND gate with that's going to be ANDed with the clock signal coming in here. Um, and then, so that we'll be able to use the enable combined with the clock signal to only clock data into one chip at a time. There we go. Uh, oh, this is getting really messy. And this wire just does not want to go in here. And the wires really don't want to come out of this board either. Damn, I really shouldn't have used this breadboard. Uh, someone in chat remind me the next time that I do one of these circuit building streams to check that I'm using good breadboards before I start wiring things. What a pain. Okay. We won't. Ah, oh, thanks, bro, bro moment 24. Love you guys. Ah. This is awful. Trying to get this stuff in here. Has the CPU integrated graphics and cache? Um, I think you could call these graphics integrated. Um. I mean, they are literally computed on the CPU. I mean, the GPU is basically just a, a glorified, like, signal generator. It's not really doing much processing of its own, so. Okay, I'm gonna hope that that's connected. This, this, this breadboard sucks. Will you liquid cool it? Uh, no, that's, that's definitely gonna break stuff. Okay. All right, so now that that's uh, ended, we can do this. Uh, let me grab another purple wire. So now we hook up the enable. There.
And that's the enable. Well, this will be the enable for Y. And then we'll hook up the other one as the enable for X. And this wire is probably too long. The wire is definitely too long. Ah, actually, you know what? I'll I'll take it. That's that's good enough. There we go. Now that's hooked up to that enable. Perfect. So now we have two AND gates hooked up as the various um, enable switches. So if I don't short the camera now, that's hooked up again. Uh, that shouldn't have happened. Uh, why did that happen? That, that really shouldn't have happened. Why did that happen? Oh, I know why that happened. Okay, never mind. Um, don't modify your circuit while it's live. You will short things. That being said, I am modifying the circuit and it is live. Okay, so now if we send the Enable high, then we clock in a zero, then we do that, right? So now it's clocked out of here. Now we send an enable, now we try and send it into the Y register, right? But the enable isn't high over here, this shouldn't change. There we go, perfect. And then when we turn the enable on, and then the Y register accepts the data, now it's clocked in. Now it doesn't change when this changes. Perfect, okay. So we have our enables and everything hooked up now. Make OS using only punch cards win. Uh, this will not be a punch card CPU. Hmm. Custom made RAM win, never. Uh, almost no heat. Did someone ask about the heat dissipation of this thing? Does stuff like this get hot doing a lot of calculations? Um, It gets hot if you short it, like, um. On my, when I was building the GPU, one of the first things I did actually was I burned my finger <laughs> grabbing a resistor because the circuit was, uh, it, it was shorted, but uh, it was because, right? So you see how on these things, you can see how this side has this little like divot in it. Uh, that means that that is the, the pin to the right of that is power. Then the pin to the bottom here is ground. So you always need to hook up, right? That's power, that's ground but I uh, had it flipped around. So I was just running current through it, which was apparently shorting it, which made everything get hot. And uh, then I burned myself on a resistor and I had a little burn on my finger for like a week. Yeah, of course, when you short it, it gets warm. Yeah, that is uh, unfortunately what happens. That's one way to tell if you're shorting it though. I'll, sometimes I'll feel an LED and be like, is this getting too warm? You know, it's fine. Anyway, um, so what we're gonna wire up now, I think I'm gonna wire up the bottom four bits of the adder now. So that'll be uh, this one. We'll, we'll add the first four bits of everything. So it'll just add the first four bits out of these registers. So that's all the outputs on a, a point with this, on this side of the chip of the X register and all the outputs on this side of the Y register will go over here to be added together. Hopefully, so we're gonna, not wire this while it's live and then it is time to cut some wires nice channel keep it up thank you okay let's do this cut like there and then check that that's long enough so we have bit uh zero up here i believe it's a bit too long actually, but that's fine. Okay, so X0, so it goes carry in. Carry in right now, I'm going to tie to zero. 
So these are the add adding chips up that I'm uh, adding chips that I am wiring up now. What are the specs of the CPU you're building? You can check out the GitHub, uh, Rohit, but the short description is basically um, 8-bit data width, 16-bit uh, address bus, access up to uh, 64 uh, kilobytes of memory, but 16K of that is banked for more, uh, more memory access. Uh, and then on top of that, uh, it has connection up to 256 arbitrary devices, I believe. It has a built-in stack, uh, 16 instructions, um, and it will run at 4 megahertz if it can. Otherwise, it will run at uh, 2 megahertz. And if it can't run at 2 megahertz, then it will run at 1 megahertz. Is a 16-bit address bus intentional or just a bottleneck? I mean... It's more so like, how many wires do you want me to wire, <laughs> you know? Like, I could theoretically give it a 32-bit address bus, but like, that's a lot of wires. It's literally four times as many, right? So it's more so just a design decision. And, you know, I mean, 64K, uh, you know, 64K for RAM isn't that bad. Ooh, thank you for pa 10, uh, 10 pounds or 10 euros, MCK brother. Uh, I think, I think I'll self-fund the oscilloscope. I think those things are a little more expensive, but I appreciate the contribution. Um, yeah. How long? It's quite late now. How long is the stream going to last? I think I'm probably going to stream until like midnight Danish time. Uh, Maybe an hour more, maybe a little bit less. We'll see. I want to do some Q&A on the end as well, though, kind of like I did last time. I, my, my current goal now is just getting the... Uh, I don't know if you guys can hear that music outside, but it is quite loud. Obviously, someone's having a good time while I'm just sitting inside uh, wiring a CPU together on stream on a Saturday night. Um, uh... What was I, what was I saying? Uh, I completely forgot what I was saying. Oh yeah, how long the stream is gonna last. I'm gonna get the bottom four bits of this wired together, basically, uh, so that it adds the bottom four bits. Then I'm probably gonna do some Q and A. But basically that'll be, I mean, that's the start of the ALU. Your music overpowers it, that's, that's good. Wasn't a particularly good choice of song either from the dude in the car rolling by. What about architecture? I mean, uh, you can check out the ISA on GitHub. Uh, it's basically, it's just, it's 16 instructions, a couple to move data around. I think it's three to move data around, one to move it in between registers. Then you have a load word instruction and a store word instruction. You have eight arithmetic instructions. Um, yeah, push and pop. How many wires do you think the CPU will use in total? A, a lot. I actually don't know what the number would be, but it'd be interesting to uh, to try and count at the end. Anyway, um, so time to wire up some of these bits. So okay, that's X zero, I believe. And then we have, oh, my diagram is wrong. Oops. Uh, that's fine though. I know that it's wrong. Uh, will the CPU and GPU be compatible? Uh, yes. That's the, that's kind of the point. I can't believe Jack, you know, you're on thin ice talking about those resistors. Okay. Let's see if I can get this in here. I'm gonna hook these up like out. There we go. Those are the first two bits from X hooked up. Can you upload more videos? Um, I'm trying, I'm doing the, I'm going at top speed, you know? Like I am truly moving as quickly as possible with my videos. 
If I could upload more often, I would. Kind of why I'm streaming now. Uh, is like a little intermittent thing, because I can't upload super often. Uh, man, I really wish I didn't pick this breadboard. It is like impossible to get things in here. Okay. Uh, where does the third bit get connected? So we have uh, carry out, then sum three, then y three, then x three. Oh no, x two needs to go up here. So we have our y two, x two. Oh my God, this circuit's already getting messy. <laughs> you know when I said I was, thought I was gonna make this nice at the start of the stream? That is a, uh, that is out the window now. That is a, a dream of days gone by. Okay, uh, S2, X3, right? You also said you weren't gonna use resistors. Yeah, true, true, true. Okay, those are the first uh, four bits of X hooked up. Uh, let's hook up the first four bits of Y in here. This this actually might take a, a lot less time than I thought it would to do. I joined to troll what I'm actually vibing. Yeah, I noticed a underscore, underscore, underscore that you did join to troll, but you are vibing. I appreciate that you're vibing now. Appreciate that you're not trolling anymore. Kind of nice to, uh, you know, just chill out for a, what, a bit. Glad I didn't ban you earlier. I'm from Germany. Uh, I don't know how to say good evening, but Guten Tag. Uh, okay, time to hook up the lower four bits of Y. A from Canada. What's up, Canada gang? Okay, uh, first four bits of Y. Let's go. Okay, I'm gonna need some long, long wires, some long boys for this. Uh, Keep on just dropping this. Um, oh, I have a lot of Canadian fans. What's it like up there in America's hat? Ow, I almost just cut myself. Hello from inside my circuit. Okay, uh, what are you gonna do when you hit 100k? I really don't know. Um, I, I'm really not sure. I don't know. Maybe I'll make a maybe I'll make like a short game or something like that. I'm not sure. Uh, that could be fun though. Kind of a return to my roots a little bit. Maybe then I'll update my Minecraft clone. <laughs> you know, finally give the people what they want. Second output, get hooked up to... Where is the second Y? Okay. Y1 goes up there. Oh, this is already messy. Caves and Cliffs update for my Minecraft clone. Redstone update. Maybe the Nether update. I don't know. I don't think I have any extra work on it. Um, but you know what I do have, actually, is that uh, a Minecraft clone that I was doing. Um, I had a bunch of extra work on that. Like I added in a whole, um, a whole lot of, uh, lighting to it. I added, I really updated the hell out of that thing. And then I ended up just not making a video out of it. So I might kind of make a, you know, it'd be fun to make a Minecraft too and release that as a playable game. Uh, okay. Y2 hooks up up there. Then Y3. 
Cool. Thank you for the donation. Uh, do you have any plans on exploring the Arduino's functionalities, robots? Um, honestly, not really. Like, my digital electronics interest is only so far as it, like, enables me to do cooler things with software, if that makes sense. Um, I'm a terrible electrical engineer, and I don't really intend on becoming a better one. Uh, you know, I just don't like, uh, oh, I already have this wire. I just don't like building things. I say as I build a physical circuit. I don't like building things physically uh, as much as I like building things in software. It's just not as like clean in my brain, if that makes sense. And I mean, you can tell why it's not clean in my brain. It's because my I'm terrible at building them and I build giant messes, but I don't know if that makes any sense or if anyone can, uh, you know, understand that. But like, no, I just like software more. I say as I build this thing in hardware. You think the OS on the computer will end up kind of looking like the terminal console on a Linux machine? Yeah, a little bit. I hope it will have like a shell, basically. Okay, um, those are the, those are the first four bits wired up from Bolt. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hook up these, this dip switch to power on the bottom four inputs, and then we should be able to add four bit numbers, um, assuming that I have wired everything up correctly. Or just like add together, you know, the bottom four bits of each one of these uh, registers, which is pretty cool. Okay. This breadboard is also painting against the Oh, people have given me a lot of mentions in the chats. Uh, let's put up one. of HTML as a programming language? I mean, it is. You can do uh, you can do plenty of stuff in HTML. Oh, I almost just shorted it again. Be bad. Okay, bottom four bits of that are wired in. Apply five volt to random lines in the circuit until it's not smoking. I mean, you you should have seen how uh, uh, how I was testing that graphics card. Uh, how do you, will you provide clock to the board? I have a four megahertz clock chip. When I'm testing, I actually just use the Arduino to generate a clock signal, um, which is really convenient because then I can have it clock out a specific, it's almost acts like a, like an oscilloscope or something in the sense that I can have it clock out a specific number of clock pulses, right? And then I can see the state of the circuit at that point. It's super helpful. Super helpful for debugging. I have this whole, um, I mean, you can go check it out actually in the GitHub repo, but I wrote this whole testing program that would run on an Arduino uh, that basically uh, box, uh, after every clock cycle, it would read the output of the graphics card and make sure that it was correct. And that was how I verified that uh, that it was doing everything correctly. Okay, I'm gonna hook up four LEDs to the outputs of this, uh, I was gonna call it a sum machine, this addition chip. And then, There we go. They're not going to have resistors on them. They're not going to have resistors on them. Just uh, pre-warning them. If you uh, you want resistors on these, you're not going to get them. Pre-warning all of you. Okay. So we have that. Now let's grab some jumper wires to hook up to the sum outputs. Yeah, 
No, I know. No resistors. It's like a basically a crime against humanity. Uh so that's bit zero with the extra long wire. Some bit one. Oh, I just dropped something off the table. Uh goes there. If I have more jumpers, I do. Some bit three is here. And then some bit four. Do I have a jumper? I don't have a jumper. I'm gonna have to use one of these other wires that I've just Okay. Um I guess I'll use this yellow wire. Oh, music's gone. Uh I'm gonna start us back on there we go. Beautiful. Okay. And then the last one is the carry output, but I'm I'm not gonna worry about that right now. Okay, um, I think this works. That's why I have the Christmas music going. Okay, I'm gonna try not to short this thing. Okay, that's a uh, mission success. Okay, we're hooked up to power. So, I think this works now. I think I think, I think, I think, we should be able to clock bits into these registers and then have them come out in the sum. So if we do this, then we clock a one. Oh, uh, I don't know why that happened. Oh, oh, um, Oh, that's a problem. <laughs> okay, I registered this stuff up. I, I, I wired this stuff up super wrong. I, I connected all of the outputs together of the dips. Why did no one tell me in chat that I was doing this wrong? You can't do this. Because now when anything is high, all of them go high. Oh no. It's not active low, uh, Joseph. Come on, one of you guys should have, there are definitely enough of you in here that someone should have got that I was doing that. <laughs> so this is actually, uh, I mean, I assume just all the bits in the register or all the low bits are high now, which I guess that makes sense that it'd be doing this and then like overflowing. Oh man, yeah, justice to the title, literally. <laughs> Damn it, okay. <laughs> Okay, um, shit. Well, now I have to take all of these out and uh, fix it. That shouldn't actually take that long because I'm only using the lower four bits. So we're just gonna clock garbage into the top four bits, but that's fine. Okay. What's the best way to do this now, though? To get these all hooked up with, like, resistors to ground? Uh... Okay, I guess I'll just do this. Okay, no, I'll only do it for the top four bits. Let me do that, and... That. Okay, it's gonna be really, really hard to get the resistance in here, but uh, I'm gonna do it. If you have the schematic, why not printing a PCB? Uh, that's a good question. Uh, it's just for clout. Uh, I'm building this for clout. Clearly. I guess it'd just be less, you know, it's more cool. It's cooler to have a breadboard computer, I guess. Because you know that you like put every wire down. You know. Uh, I don't think I'm going to be able to fit resistors in here. Oh, I really should have thought about this. I'm actually like, I'm genuinely quite mad at all of the, at all of you in chat for not uh, catching this. You know, for how much you guys were screaming at me about the resistors and the LEDs and stuff, one of you guys really should have caught that I, uh, 
can't wire up switches like this. Phony electrical engineers, all of you. His inner bed eater doesn't exist? Yeah, apparently not. Uh, it's hard to see the fine details. Yeah, you know what? I'll, uh, let's do this. Okay, now, now if something goes wrong, it's really your guys' fault. <laughs> you should be able to see it now. Okay, we're just gonna hook all of these up to ground via resistors. Everyone gangsta till a wire comes out. True. That uh, it caused a lot of problems for me on the uh, just wires like popping out left and right basically on the GPU. But what is going on here? Dude, yikes. I really need like some smaller like tweezers. Blink twice if Ben Eater is holding you hostage. You guys can't see my face. I could be blinking like a madman right now. Ben is Ben is standing behind me, forcing me, uh, you know, forcing me to build this. I'm like a like a sweatshop laborer. And uh you guys wouldn't even know. I'm actually just a subcontractor of Ben Eater. You know? Okay, okay, okay. Now they're all hooked up via resistors. Um I need to hook up this one via a resistor as well. I'm using far more resistors than I thought I would be. Which adder are you using? I'm using a 74283 uh, as my adder. I know there are other adders in the 74 series, but these are just the ones that I happen to have, basically. The, the pinout on them kind of sucks. Um, but, you know, you get what you get. Okay, uh, time to not short things. Okay, we're connected. All right. So th uh, this is adding, this is adding. Look at this. All right, so there is now a one clocked into the uh, the X register. And so that sum output is one. And so now if we uh, take the enable low, it's clocked in, then we clock a what should we add to one? Someone give me a number between one and 15. First person to give me a number, that's what a four. Okay, four, we're adding four. Uh, so we go one, two, four. Then we hit the enable on the Y. Uh, and then it doesn't work. Uh. Oh, okay, faulty wiring, but it did add uh, incorrectly. Give it up for one plus four equals uh, zero. <laughs> okay. Well, uh, Let's give this another go. My wiring is just really faulty, I guess. I think it's actually this that's causing problems, so I'm gonna read it. Yeah, math is very hard. Yeah. One plus four does equal zero if you're operating in uh, mod five arithmetic, but uh, unfortunately, uh, that is not what we're doing. We should be operating in a uh, orbit arithmetic on 16. Okay. So hard to get things into the spreadboard. Okay. There we go. There we go. There we go. Oh, I just did that live again. I shouldn't have done that. Okay. So we are going to clock into X. One. One. Now it's just 
Oh my god, okay, these, some connection is really faulty in here. Like, I wonder what it is, really. Oh, it's the power. Oh, it's this. Like the power. Oh, it's because it's almost coming out of the Arduino. <laughs> okay, there we go. Okay. Yeah, these this power connection just really sucks. Um, let me fix that. But I don't really have anything to fix it with. Uh, let's do this. Okay. Uh, ground. Ground. Uh, five volts. Five volts. Okay. Ah, okay, perfect. Things are way less wiggly now. Now it should work. Now it should work. One week for this vid, maybe? Uh, maybe a little longer. <laughs> okay. Now that it's clocked in there, now we take the enable low for X. Then we clock four into Y. Take the enable high for Y. And there we go. It's five. One plus four is indeed five, right? You can see, oh, it's actually mirrored on the screen, but here, this is the least significant bit. So, so you have one, uh, zero, one, zero is five. This is adding the values in these two registers. Uh, I'm not gonna extend it to eight bits right now. That would take too long, but check it out. And so now, right, let's clock, uh, this number, whatever this is. Uh, one, four plus 12, 12 into Y. Uh, there we go. <laughs> it just took, it just took a few hits, I guess. Um, you know, but, uh, it worked. So now we have 12 plus one. Perfect. Perfect. Uh, no problems there at all. Uh, right. So that is correct. And now let's clock, um, uh, um, two into, uh, into X. Uh, let's clock three so that all the bits will go on. Clock three into X, enable X. Uh, did it overflow? It might have overflowed. Wait, okay, let me do this. Let me do this. Let me do this. Let's clock zero into X. Oh, it's because these are all enabled. Oh, it did overflow. I was just getting them backwards, right? Yeah, I think. I can't tell which. Oh no, okay, no, now they're all enabled. Now it's overflowing. Wow, I'm really bad at this stuff. Okay, so this is clocking zero into X. Let's uh, clock a zero into Y. Okay, perfect, perfect. Now, now into X. Let's clock three. There we go. Three plus zero is three. Take that low. X is no longer enabled. Uh, clock 12 into Y. And now all the bits are on. It's 12 plus three is 15. There we go. Boom. Uh, repeat uh, until four of these boards are wired together. Now you guys have something of idea of an idea for how long this takes. Congrats, you made add instruction. Four bits, the lower four bits of the add instruction. Anyway, though, that's it. I think I'm gonna do some um, some Q and A now to close out the stream. I'm not gonna short the camera anymore. But there we go. I'm disconnecting uh, disconnecting everything. This It can no longer be shorted out. I'm back. I'm going to change the camera angle. But uh, you know electrical engineers. You want to see something? Look over there. Oh, you can't really see it that well. I'm about to make electrical engineers very. Look at all of these ICs. 
completely unsorted that I'm just transferring all of my static electricity to. None of them will work now. And my airplanes. Anyway. Uh, which side was the camera? I think it was over here. <laughs> they are like little bugs on my desk. Uh, you guys can get a view of my wire. <laughs> uh, how do I get the camera out of here? Little thing on the back. Sorry for like the violently shaking experience. If any of you are getting uh, nauseated from what? Why are you guys so low? Oh, it's because I made this extra big. Let me just edit me a bit. Where did Ben Eater go? Uh, he's there, you know. He's, he's always with us, Ben. Uh, can I make this fit? There we go. We're back. Okay, I'm also gonna turn my monitor so that it's done right. I'll put the mic in the right spot. Maybe turn the light down so it's less blinding. There we go. That's a slightly softer, cozier vibe. House life, uh, pretty good. Um, do you upload streams to your second channel? No, streams. Uh, streams. I'm gonna show my mind. Uh, streams stay here on the channel. I think if I start, uh, if I start streaming more, then uh, I'm considering either having bots be unlisted or uh either having the bots be unlisted or uh just having like them on a second channel or something like that or if i were to stream on twitch more uh then twitch of course automatically has the bots so i don't really know you know i don't really know what to do why no 1080p this thing is running on like a low-end 2016 mac so that's why you upload the schematic. Uh, it's available on the GitHub. Uh, in the, uh, I think it's under the CIRC CIRC directory. Uh, what do you do for a living? Uh, YouTube right now. Uh, that's what I do for a living is uh, building that circuit that's sitting down there. <laughs> I'm gonna move the chat over here so it looks a little bit more like I'm uh, looking at you guys. You uh, individuals. Hmm. I'm gonna minimize some of these windows so that I'm less like pale. There we go. What is your website link, your GitHub page? I don't understand that question. Can you upload more? I can't, I, I literally upload as fast as I can. So I uh, I try my best. Uh, will you be able to, should I run your Minecraft clone on my Raspberry Pi? I don't know if it, it can probably run on a Raspberry Pi. I haven't tried it though. Uh, why did you unlist how computers compute? I don't like the video that much. I might remake it later. Um, you can still find it on my uploads playlist if you want to see it. Um, when will you discover resistors for LEDs? Uh, never. I, uh, I'm actually like a, an, an anti uh, resistor conspiracy theorist. I think they're a conspiracy. There is no electric resistance. Uh, Ohm's law is a lie. Uh, Jet fuel can't melt uh, 1K ohm resistors. Have you tried Rust or Go? Uh, I've actually never programmed in Go before, but I programmed a little bit of Rust. Um, you know, it's kind of comfy. It's it's uh, it's nice. Uh, I wish there wasn't so much like friction and like fighting with the borrow checker and stuff like that. But you know, um, I'd really love to have an excuse to use Rust more. I think I might write the next game I write in, in Rust. Yeah. Can you mentor me through my programming career? Uh, no, <laughs> sorry. Just, uh, you know, I didn't have any mentors when I was growing up. I just kind of did stuff. So, you know, just, just do some programming projects. You like CoffeeScript? Uh, no, I'm not a big fan. You're an electrical engineer. I'm not an electrical engineer. Uh, as you can probably tell by uh, the number of times that I like shorted, uh, shorted everything out. 
Will you build some more later? Yeah, I'll probably do uh, another stream at some point. As an alternative to Rust, do consider Nim. I love Nim. Nim is my, like one of my favorite languages. I think it is fantastic. Um, the things that I can't get past with Nim though, are um, there are a few like very basic bugs uh, that still happen in the compiler. Like you, you can't, um, there's no recursive endpoint. Uh, import of modules. Oh, thank you for the donation, Alex BMJ. Yeah, go to jdh.gg if you want to see my website. Um, it's very, uh, very interesting and informative. But um, so there's Nim, like you can't do circular imports of modules, which makes everything, which makes it a real pain sometimes to write things. And also, there aren't that many big adopters, which kind of makes me nervous to write code in Nim because I don't really know if it'll have a big. Uh, you know, how long the horizon is or the future is on that code. Um, you know, I, 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 I really love Nim though. I like, I like, I think it's such a good language. I love the macro facilities. Yeah, thanks. Uh, I, I put a lot of time into the website, uh, Epic Fix. How's your day been? I was pretty good, I was pretty relaxed. I was kind of just prepping myself to, uh, to stream. Oh, thank you for the conversion from uh, Quanon to USD, but <laughs> that's my native currency, so. <laughs> yes, thank you, Tucker. I think my website is quite cool, too. What gear supplies would you recommend to messing circuitry like this? Apparently, I need a multimeter, uh, which I don't have. I'd recommend one of those. But basically, the only two things that I really have, aside from the literal things, I have an Arduino, but I have these things. These are some wire strippers and like uh, like clippers. They also have a little grippy bit right here. Uh, and then these things, uh, some pliers that are, that are useful for like getting wires in and out of uh, places. What is your microphone? Uh, it's a Rode uh, Procaster. Uh, what is your opinion on Kotlin? Um, I haven't really used it before. Uh, I kind of just prefer to write things in Java if I'm on the JVM. I've used Scala. Uh, quite extensively before, and I thought that was kind of fun. Um, have you considered making an operating system in a higher level language than C? Uh, yeah, I don't know. Writing a Rust OS, uh, mm, I don't know. Uh, my 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 custom OS writing days might be behind me. I mean, custom OSs that aren't running on completely custom architectures, but uh, you know. What about esoteric languages? There's that one that's all uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger quotes. I think that one's pretty fun. Uh, I think that's my favorite esoteric language. Are you an engineer? I'm a computer scientist, technically. Arnold C. Yeah, exactly. That is a that is my favorite. Uh, when the streamer notices you, I notice you, Ralph. Uh, Arnold C. Yeah, that that's that's what it is. Mm. Do you like C? Yeah, of course I like C. What are you doing after this project? I think I'm gonna like return to game dev. Uh, I kind of miss it. Like, like I would love to, I don't know how much of a pivot it would be for my channel if I started doing like, like re semi-regular like dev vlogs on like a game or like an engine or something like that. I mean, you guys are my audience, so I guess you guys would know whether or not uh, you'd be into that, but you know, I, I like all the electronics and stuff like that, but really like the kind of a long-term plan is to do more game dev stuff. Are you a vampire? I kind of look like it in this lighting. Game dev videos sound good. Thanks, Harrison. Did you face any legal consequences to the, the Tetris OS thing? Uh, no, the takedown was the end of it. I know there were a bunch of people that like commented on the thing, um, uh, on the community post that I made that I should like get a lawyer and it's like it's not worth it <laughs> you know like it, it, it's it's not worth like the thirty thousand dollars it would cost to hire a lawyer to say like this code is under fair use when I can just say like don't download it off of the web archive that would be illegal don't do it right uh, how do I get my hair to look uh like yours uh I just grew it out for like a year it's actually quite long it reaches down to my chin um and then i cut it myself so i guess just grow it and then don't cut it too short 
<laughs> is this pre-recorded? Am I paid to write this message? It's the exact time? Well, you know, Raul, you really shouldn't be breaking the fourth wall like that, uh, even though this is pre-recorded. Uh, just rename it Fun Block Game OS. Yeah, I was considering doing something like that and then re-releasing it, just removing anything, any references to, uh, you know, the falling block game that can't be named, uh, transposing the music, like, up a couple steps, something like that. Are you ever going to do Arduino projects? I'm not writing it off. Um, could happen. Uh, but yeah, I, I don't know. The the Tetris OS thing kind of sucked to, to get that, like, DMCA. I mean, honestly, the shittiest part of it is just that, like, you know, some, some copyright troll can nuke your code from Orbit and then no one else has access to it. Like, I, I still have the code, of course, but, you know, it just sucks that, uh, you know, however many people starred that repo and wanted to look at it and, uh, you know, use it as an introductory point for operating system development can't get to it anymore. Um, you know, it's just kind of silly. And, and obviously just like copyright troll from a lawyer or from, from an overzealous legal team that wouldn't happen in a just copyright system. But it just so happens that the copyright system that we have is something that's like, you know, been built by Disney to protect their copyright over Mickey Mouse for the last like 200 years. It's not really built to uh, protect guy makes video about falling block game, right? It also makes me dislike GitHub a little bit and, you know, by extension Microsoft for having done that, but. Your apartment looking pretty chill. Thank you. It is pretty chill up here. What, what web archive would that be? Just making sure, yeah, just to make sure that you, uh, that you don't go uh, to the link. Um, I think if you just look up it's just on the GitHub repo under the web archive. You definitely, uh, if you were going to do activity, which uh, is not recommended, um, just so you avoid, just so you don't click on the link, um, it would be the one, you, the link you shouldn't click on is the download zip link under the web archive. Uh, like the Wayback Machine, don't go there and don't go to the GitHub repo on the Wayback Machine and don't hit download zip. Uh, that would be downloading code that uh, I guess through copyright law belongs to uh, the Tetris companies, or sorry, the, the company that made the original Falling Block game, uh, uh, their, their legal team. Don't do that. It would be, uh, it would be bad. Yeah, I, I might, Coding Genesis, I might republish it just as like a basic kernel or something like that, just so that all of the OS code remains in there and then just rip the game code out, basically. Uh, I've, I've had people email me asking me for like sound drivers and stuff like that, um, and I've sent them the code because it's also a shame that, you know, an existing Sound Blaster 16 driver written in 2021 gets nuked, right? That kind of sucks. But, yeah. Okay, um... It is getting quite late here in uh, in Denmark, in the best time zone. Um, so I'm gonna go to sleep. I'm actually probably gonna eat some food first and then go to sleep. But um, it's been a very nice stream. Thank you to everyone for tuning in. Um, there will probably be more. How am I out of focus? Why does this always happen when I say I'm gonna end stream? All two times. Why am I so out of focus? Oh, now I'm back. There we go. Okay. Um, yeah, thank you very much to everyone for coming. Uh, yeah, next time I might announce the stream. I might not just do a random one, but it will definitely be like more like building uh, building stuff. This is going to take a little bit. I have quite a few boards to build. So anyway, thank you very much, everyone. Uh, thank you very much for the five pounds, Ralph Greer Walker. Uh, See y'all in the next time. Bye. -bye.